Virgo, this is your tarot reading for May. Most people haven't been quite what they seem. But I have to say, I've got a few misgivings about yours. I'm immediately drawn to that bottom left hand card. That's the future. Card of poverty. Card of maybe no friends. And I think this might be about finances. And you're attempting to control things. Um, central card there. King of Pentacles. Somebody who thinks at least they're astute with money. Now, you know, I've used the word money there. And do we know we'll even have money by the end of this year? With CDCs, etc. You know, so maybe I should use the word wealth. And I think this is about wealth and your attempt to control it. Maybe even manifest it. Because, you know, um, both the middle cards, top and bottom, are high priestess and magician. Suggesting you're manifesting. Are you manifesting money? I think so. I think so. And I think perhaps it's not going right for you in the past, bottom right. Um, an important decision to make. You can't see which is the best one to take. Something quite radical, I think. Could this be also related to money? I honestly don't know. Um, the energy that leads to the outcome is the Knight of Wands. He's bold, he's fearless, but he rushes into things. Is that about investments? Is that rushing into conclusions? I don't know. I don't know. The outcome is you are looking to authority, probably in terms of religion or spirituality, but it could be other things. But I think you're turning now because of things haven't worked out as you'd want them to. Not sure I've got this right, so stick with me to see what I make of it. Now the overall energy running through this entire reading is that of the King of Pentacles. Suggests somebody that's quite astute with finances, or at least they think they are. And... You know, I think the games are all changing at the moment. Give you an illustration. You know, I'm, I'm trying to sort my pensions out. And one of them, which, which is worth virtually nothing, you know, or from having made the inquiry, it's going to be 10 weeks to telling me that it's not worth very much, you know. How can that be justified? But worse still, Two years ago, Royal Bank of Scotland closed my bank account, so I don't have a UK bank account. But the information I've got back so far is that my pensions have to be paid into a UK bank account. Well, how can I? You know, I can't even open one because I, I lack the sort of ID one would require for opening a UK bank account. So, you know, the, the implications are tremendous. I mean, goodness knows how I'm going to get through it. So, you know, it's no good thinking you're astute financially. You should play this market, play that market. When we're having the rug pulled from under our feet at every moment, you know. So is that what's going on with you? I mean, I'm not saying Royal Bank of Scotland have closed your account, but, you know, something like that. Something that's... You're just not in control of it, are you? We're not in control of our lives at all anymore, and... There's things going on that affect us very badly. We can't do anything about it. And it's no good thinking you're astute, is it? In the past, you certainly had a decision to make. I think quite radical decisions, but you couldn't decide which was the best. Did this involve finance? I've no idea. It's clearly important and you'll understand the significance of it better than me. As I say, it was in the recent past. But you took a decision on something or you, or you, you were faced with a decision on something and it was clearly important. Is this coming back to bite you? I don't know. I've got the distinct impression that you're manifesting money. 
we've got two cards that would suggest that. First we have this High Priestess, who's a little bit more sophisticated, but later we've got the Magician card, which does really suggest manifesting. Uh, the High Priestess maybe is a little bit more sophisticated, attempts to understand the psychology behind things, attempting to understand the psychology of others, attempting to understand the psychology of the world maybe. No bad things, but I think it's also about you attempting to control things. And I think it's those attempt to con control is where you come unstuck. That's how it feels to me, at least. Say, so why am I being so pessimistic? Well, it's, it's this energy here. It's an energy in the future. It's not an energy in May. It's in the future. Five of Pentacles. I would normally associate it with poverty. It could mean no friends or feeling alone. It could mean both. It's normally an attitude of mind. So poverty is often a feeling of poverty as much as an objective situation. But I think it, it indicates to me that you've been trying to control things and it's gone wrong. Maybe you've rushed into things a little. If you'd relaxed and submitted to the universe, I've got a distinct feeling things would have gone better. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, but I don't think so. Often this isn't an energy to worry about. It's not long term. But I do think that you've taken the wrong course of action somehow. Why am I thinking this has happened? Well, we've got this Knight of Swords. He's the most ferocious of knights. He's bold, he's fearless. What could be wrong in that? Well, if we're talking of investing, maybe, maybe there is something wrong in it, yeah? Ah, uh, he's one that rushes into things. A rushing into taking decisions, yeah. Have you been rushed into taking decisions? You know, there's so much sort of fear porn around in terms of finances. I think we're all in danger of taking the wrong decision, of being panicked into doing the wrong thing. And I suspect that's what's happening to you. Particularly if you're manifesting as well. Yeah, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick somehow, being pushed into something that you shouldn't. Ah, ah, what I didn't spot was this magician card changes the outcome. Ah, so it's very different. So rushing into things creates the outcome. And remember, long term, it is, it's not looking so good. Whereas if you were to use the magician, if you were to manifest, then things could be better for you. So have I got this wrong? You know, I think I might have. I think I might have. And probably the High Priestess was the right thing to be doing when I thought it was the wrong thing to be doing. Yeah, a very different indeed. It's you rushing into things that creates what I see as a potential problem for you. Not you manifesting. So manifesting wealth or manifesting harmony is the right thing to be doing. How interesting. And the outcome is the Hierophant, you turning to authority, maybe even religion, maybe spirituality for answers. How interesting, because you know, I've been getting messages that religion is not as important for finding answers of what's going on in the world right now as what is inside your own mind. 
which the high priestess and the magician would be much more about. Uh, that if you want to steer away through the turmoil there is in the world at the moment, then better to look towards your own psychology, what's deep inside your mind, than what others are telling you is religion. It's my view that many religions, and mine perhaps the worst of all, Islam, has been completely corrupted by totally the wrong things. The eye has been completely taken off the ball of what religion should be about. And the universe, I think, has been trying to tell us that. How interesting. Well, we've got to get some clarity on this, haven't we? What has got you into feeling like you're in poverty in the future? First card suggests it's a divine blissful relationship. Oh dear. Second card suggests new information comes to you. Is it about this relationship? And the third card suggests that you had too rigid, too firm a views. Ah, how very interesting, yes. Yes. So I got it wrong about you manifesting wealth, haven't I? Let me tell you what I make of it all now. Remember we're clarifying why you feel that you're in poverty in the future, maybe even with no friends. And the first card of clarification we get is a card of divine relationship. Now, does it tell us about falling in love in the past? Ah, of course, there was that decision to make. Was that between two people and you chose the wrong one? It could be, couldn't it? It certainly seems that it's this relationship which has caused you to lose your money. Did you pick a bad one here? It certainly feels like it. Or did you just get caught up with each other and talk each other into the financial equipment and jumping off a cliff? Maybe. And now we have the King of Swords. Very wise king. A king that's seen it all before. A king that people come to for advice. But, you know, think something that I've been learning and, you know, I'm 66 soon. I get my pension soon. Well, hopefully, <laughs> you know, um, all my life I've been pushed from pillar to post by narcissists. And you might be listening to me and saying, good heavens, nobody can be that unlucky. But, you know, one in five of the population are narcissists or psychopaths. So your chances of having had a loved one that's a narcissist or a psychopath are exceedingly high. And recently, you know, I've been spotting them a mile off, and, but they keep coming because, of course, they're one in five of the population. And I think you've been sent this little reminder. So don't dwell on, don't dwell on this poverty. You know, you'll get over it. It's in the future anyway. Uh, But if you'd listen to the High Priestess, you know, about your in-depth psychology and the psychology of others, maybe this could have been avoided. Certainly one thing the universe seems to be shouting out to us all at this moment is, for goodness sake, don't have too rigid a plans. And you remember before you had a choice to make Maybe it was just too rigid. Maybe it was just too rigid. You know, maybe that this love isn't such a bad person, but you've just got rigid plans for for yourselves. And the world is changing very quickly, you know. Imagine that, supposing you're from Wales, and you decide to buy a house together in Port Talbot. And of course, the 
steel factory is closing. There's no work anywhere near Port Talbot now. So the worst place you could be possibly buying a house, you know. And you did it with all the best intentions, but the world is so fluid now, yeah. Yeah, I don't think these are huge things. It's just warnings from the world and saying, look, try and be a bit more flexible. Try and think of the deeper psychology of things that are going on. I think we can summarise for you, though, Virgo. Virgo, I thought this reading was all about money, and to a certain degree it is, but it's about life, it's about money, it's about love, it's about everything. You had an important decision to make in the past, and I'm not certain you took the wrong decision as much as you took a decision and pinned so much on it, and things are going to go wrong for you. You've rushed into things a little bit too much. I think you have been thinking, but you've been planning, and... The world is a very uncertain place and it's no good having such firm plans. You certainly met somebody and they felt wonderful. Were they the right person? I don't know, I don't know, but you were making plans with them and the plans are going to lead you in the future to poverty, maybe even losing that person, I'm not sure. Uh, but it is that the universe is saying you were just too rigid and... As a result of things not going quite right, you're probably going to turn to form or religion. And again, the universe has been shouting out to me that form or religion has become so corrupted, it doesn't contain the answers for what you want right now. And you'd be better looking inside your own psychology. You'd be better actually manifesting change for yourself than looking towards religion. I don't think that the outcome is terrible. I don't think things... I think it's more a mindset, you know. I think you're heading for a knockdown. and You'll learn from it, you know, and you'll move on. But it won't be pleasant when it happens, let's put it that way, Virgo. But I do think you're able to pick yourself up. I, I do think you are. This has just been a little lesson, that's all.